So, welcome back to my channel, my little green birds. If you guys are brand new to my channel, welcome and thank you for checking this video out. And if you guys would be so kind, if you are brand new, don't forget to like, comment, follow, and subscribe to my channel. And also, do not forget to turn on the notification bells so you know when I have a brand new video. So, I am very sure that you guys have been anticipating a video like this because like we all heard of Jack Black, the skincare brand and the company and everything. Um, they have been around forever and a day, technically. They've been around for over a decade at this point, I believe. And um, a lot of people may not like them. I have no idea. I don't care if you don't like them. Not bothered, actually. Hashtag not bothered. So um, I just wanted to do a full face because I have never done a full face on my channel before using only their products so with that being said if you guys are interested in seeing me do a full face review and first impressions might I add then stay tuned <laughs> stuff that I have restocked on I'm um, just replenished on stuff that I already have that is like literally diminishing my dad so um, what I am going to do is I am going to wash my face first because it's always the first step in terms of doing a full face review because this company Jack Black not the actor um, this company has a full spectrum of products. I'm not really, I haven't really shown interest in their anti-aging products because they just kind of don't interest me as much. I was introduced to this brand, I think I was in like Nordstrom or one of those companies. I think it was Nordstrom's. I think I started off in Bloomingdale's or Nordstrom or whatever. Oh wait, Bloomingdale's. Started off in Bloomingdale's. I saw them and I was always immediately drawn because of their coloring, of their packaging. So, yeah, okay, I do not think that I have any more left. I I think I literally used this. I think it's like... <laughs> I think it's almost done. I just want to say that it just had its funeral. Um. So, yeah, that was the point. We're talking with this box set right here. So, I'm taking the... um. Their face wash, okay, their everyday cleanser. Um, it is their Pure Clean. The Pure Clean is a really good everyday face wash. It's not it's not toxic, it's not abrasive or anything like that. That's one of the things I really love about this brand is that they are vegan and cruelty-free, and that's what's up. Now, just a recap, if you guys have not seen um, my video, some of my most recent videos, um, where it's just me, um, I talk about how Jack Black products have started, but not verbally. I was using little inserts and little pop-ups and everything. So from what I understand, you know, um, when I did my research, that they started off hella indie, of course, and um, they... To get to make to make it okay to get by so to speak they were selling themselves inside of golf courses first and I thought that was rather interesting because starting off in a place like that that does not sound like spa that does not sound high-end yeah it kind of does because it's a country club but that is literally crazy they did sell themselves in hotels at the time like boutique luxury upscale hotel status I thought that was awesome but I thought that was interesting. Okay, so I've had this on for a while. I let it sit on my face for about a minute after massaging the product into my skin. So I'm gonna get a hot towel and I'm gonna wipe this all off. I absolutely love Jack Black products. I recommend their body wipes that they have for like, you know, quick fix shower type of deal. To freshen up before heading out right after work. I highly recommend them. I literally think that they are amazing, okay? I highly recommend them. So what I'm going to do right now, okay, is I am going to use the face buff. 
I think I have enough left. If not, that's why the point of this right here. Um, I'm, I am going to wash my beard on camera. Um, it's been a while since I've done anything like that, okay? Um, so I will be doing that while I am doing this. So, let's get some water. We're gonna wet the entire face. Oh my god. I've been doing like errands all day and then I went back out to Target and whatever, you know, the pedestrian mundane thing to do in Sonoma County and in Marin County. I'm in Marin County, in case you guys are wondering. Oh my god. I haven't showered or whatever. I just woke up first thing and I just washed my face and that was pretty much it. Aside from brushing my teeth. Um, I think it's about 12, 1 o'clock right now. Yeah. Okay, so I'm taking the face buff, okay? This is almost on its last thread. I think that there's like a little more because like if you guys look, like I've been like squeezing the hell out of it. So this is what the product looks like, the texture. It's a nice off-white color. And I like how much granules it has because the granules, I really do feel like this is just one of those polishes, these face scrubs that really does what it's supposed to do. Okay, I'm trying to be a little more conscious about how many towels I'm using. Okay, so this is my first time using it. So I bought all of these products hella months ago at this point. So this is the Beard Wash by Jack Black. So this has aloe and pentothal. Um, Pen, um, pentanol, pentanol, I'm so sorry. And this is supposed to deodorize and just deeply clean the beard. Um, this is my first time using it. I have no idea what this is supposed to smell like, all the above. Um, look, the seal is on it, so that's really good. I've literally never opened this before, and I've never used this product before. So a lot of these products are going to be first impression. Hmm. It smells like some of like the hippie stuff that I use sometimes. Okay, let's see. Okay, so it kind of looks like the um it kind of looks like the pure clean daily face wash, but for your beard. I can smell lavender in it. I can smell a nice light amount of lavender. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the same discarded cloth and I'm going to wipe down the exfoliant off of my face. We are literally doing a full face review, you guys. I'm doing, I'm talking about going to use this as a mask on camera too, even though it's also a face wash. I'm just letting you guys know. We are doing full face. As much as you guys love to see someone just talk, it's actually better to really see someone actually using the products. You get to see the performance yourself for your own eyes. So what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using the Deep Dive Glycolic um, Face Wash, but as a mask. So one of the things that I really like about this, it's made with kaolin clay and volcanic ash. Um, I have used this on my channel before in the past, but um, I don't use it very often um, as a mask. But right now I have been using it more as a face wash because these hotter days I'd rather use this because it's going to really pull out all of the excess oil and dirt from my skin so the way how i use this okay if i'm using a mask and if i'm shaving okay is that i always mask first to pull out any of the excess oil and dirt from my skin so you just need to put a thin layer on um the way how my skin reacts with this mask is very different from other people's probably other people may have experienced it before so I am just putting a thin layer on because in a sense we are triple cleansing, okay? Because when you wash your face and then if you use an exfoliant and everything, that is actually technically double cleansing right there. Um, but we're not doing a, a quadruple cleansing in a sense, if you really think about it. But um, the way how I do this um, is that I leave this on for about five minutes. 
Okay, I leave the mask on for about five minutes and then I just add a little water to get some suds going and then I just rinse it off. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna step away for about three, four minutes, okay? Even though it's probably been a, over a minute, maybe two minutes since I've been putting this on and I will continue from there. I already wiped off the excess shave, um, not the shave product. I already wiped off all of the claim mask with the with the towel that I had, and then um, I already layered on some beard lube. So, ba so the beard lube is their version of a pre-shave oil. Okay, so from what I'm feeling from the beard lube, and money, it, it smells just like the face buff. Okay, just to let you guys know, it feels like the sh um, it smells like the face buff, but more reduced, and. Um, it is a water soluble based product, so you might have to use a little more than you probably have anticipated originally. So I'm just letting you guys know in terms of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my shave brush, okay, and I'm going to use my shave bowl and I'm going to create a nice lather. I've been using the triple lather shave cream for ever in a day it's been i've been using that for years like as in years years so it's not like the first time i'm using that like the um for instance like the beard lube the beard lube is the first time i've ever used this okay like literally this is everything right now oh my god that is one frothy lather what I am like foaming from the mouth. <laughs> okay, so um, I did open this beard grooming kit, okay? Just to let you guys know, I already have the beard wash, but I have a smaller version. So just think of this as like the travel size, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my safety razor and we're gonna see how well this shaves. Okay, so from what I'm feeling so far, it feels uh, really smooth. I don't feel it's irritating my skin whatsoever right now. <laughs> I think okay, so. We just use a lot of product right now. Um, what is in here? Uh, they said, okay, no, none of that stuff in there. They have a lip balm in there, but I do not use their lip balm. Their lip balm is literally nasty. I do not go for that. Okay, so after I just got done shaving, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use a post shave cooling gel for the first time. Um, this is what the product looks like up close. This is my first time using it, so I'm really excited about that. It's an alcohol-free gel. Okay, so that is a first, especially for a gel. Those gels usually have alcohol. So it has like a translucent golden color. Reminds me of, oh my God, this feels amazing. It smells like it has like winter green. What does it have in here? I don't even remember. From what I was like reading on the back of it. Okay, so sugar leaf, chamomile, lavender, the witch hazel, rosemary. Mm. I definitely smell the rosemary. The rosemary is really good and this is a really good astringent in a sense. I am living through that. Okay, so I am literally obsessed with that right now. That is literally everything. Like, I'm not even joking. Okay, so I'm gonna use this little brush, okay? So I'm gonna comb this all out. So I don't think that they have like beer conditioner or anything like that. So 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the beard oil, okay? I don't think that this requires any... Okay. So it's kind of a golden color. It's kind of running down my hands really fast. Ooh. I almost put I almost put it directly on my face. <laughs> if you guys just noticed that. I was just about to do that. Um it smells really good. This actually smells like a professional skincare product for a, from like one of the high-end luxury skincare lines that I love using. I got some beard conditioner. It would appear way more tame. I think this is good as it's going to get with just the beard oil in okay um and also let's not forget <laughs> so i do have the double duty face moisturizer with spf 50 i absolutely used to love this stuff and use it all the time um i use about five six pumps and all because you always want to it has like a fresh powder scent just to let you know um, you definitely want to put this uh, all over your face because this acts as a moisturizer and also don't forget to get your neck don't forget your ears okay because the summer is summer is here literally so you can have your ears burnt you don't want your neck burnt and everything so yeah that's sort of reiterate if you guys don't recall what I said Anything that's SPF 20 and below, that is really just more like, oh, I'm on the go. I'm going to go to work. I'm going to go do an errand and everything. SPF 25, if not 30 and up, that is for long-term exposure. As if like, oh, I'm going to go to the beach right now. I'm going to go play a game. I'm going to go play frisbee ball or whatever the f*** that, that, that game is called. <laughs> okay. Okay, so... Now to give you my final thoughts on this full routine. Okay, so I am giving this full routine a 10 because it's Jack Black. I, I don't know anyone personally that does not like their products whatsoever at all. Um, my face feels really good. It looks very hydrated and all the products performed very well as a full spectrum Um um, routine like literally so you all know that I live for the Jack Black Supreme Cream so that is like a given right there and now I'm actually very impressed that this is an alcohol free toner no, not alcohol free toner post shave gel I am very very surprised with that and I absolutely love the fact that there's nothing harsh smelling in here there's no alcohol like some of the post stuff that I have been using lately because I because I have to layer on more moisturizer just in case because the alcohol is really drying. Um, it will premature age you. So that's just something that you guys have to think about. Um, if you guys are using more alcohol-based products, definitely going to want to use another layer of moisturizer or um, a moisturizer with SPF in it. Now, um, I have been using the Detox Glycolic Cleanser forever and a day. Um, I absolutely love this stuff, but at this point, I give it a, um, I give it a seven. I would not give it any higher than that um, because the way how my skin is like reacting to it now as a mask versus cleanser. So that's why I'm giving it a seven. Um, now, when it comes down to the beard lube, this is a little different. Um, I'm not a big fan of it so far. Um, I have to use it a little more, more routinely. Um, I want to say I'm going to give this a six, maybe a five and a half. It's because it is more water soluble, basically, and there is alcohol in it. Um because I felt like it, it was drying up a little fast. So I feel like you have to use a good amount of beard lube in order for you to get that close shave. Otherwise, the performance of it is pretty chill. I want to say it's pretty average, but I would suggest a pre-shave oil um, personally. But I am going to use this more to see how my skin reacts or just to see how my sh my um, my skin, my my shaving routine goes, okay? So I'm just letting you guys know in terms of that one. Now, this is my first time using their beard wash. I absolutely love the beard wash. It just literally smells absolutely phenomenal. Um, 
it literally smell almost reminds me of the turbo wash but you just have to take out the wild pea berry and all the other stuff out of it and, it, and it's literally amazing so this might be my new default beard wash because i usually just use cremo beard wash every day but this one is way more hydrating i feel because my my beard didn't feel stripped and i didn't feel like i would have to put on um the a beard conditioner right 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 afterwards even though that's more likely what I would do since I have a full beard going on you guys um I hope you guys love the new beard growth and all that other jazz now um I think that pretty much completes this video this whole routine I want to say I used one two three four five six seven eight I used eight products for my full face get ready with me first impressions of some of the products first impressions of Jack Black I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you guys liked this video definitely give this video a thumbs up and yeah and don't forget to like comment follow subscribe and also do not forget to follow me on Instagram and also do not forget to turn on the notification bells because those are really important um with that being said i will see you guys on the next one bye